Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I didn't think I had to make a crazy elaborate video like I normally do for these spoilers. I think uh, there's only like 14 cards. There's these eight and six below. So let's just jump right into them. Bounty Agent. It's a two-drop human soldier. I'm so happy that humans are back. Honestly, uh, humans have not really been a force to be reckoned with in standard for quite some time. And it looks like Watsi's making the push for humans uh, to be uh, to, to get a facelift. <laughs> and it looks like they're going to get one. Uh, bounty Agent, two drop vigilance, tap it, sacrifice bounty agent, destroy target, uh, legendary permanent. That's an artifact, creature, or enchantment. It's a 2 2. Pretty cool card, especially with all the legendary things that are going on out there that are pretty scary to deal with. This thing's going to be able to uh, going to be able to help out for sure. Target legendary permanent. That's an artifact creature enchantment. So yeah, this thing's going to take out uh, a number of. Uh, it's going to be in a lot of decks, put it that way, uh, or at least in sideboards. We got Dimmer Informant. It's a three drop. Uh, when Informant enters the battlefield, surveil for two. And again, what the surveil does, look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on top of your library in any order. Not bad at all. It's like a scry, in a sense, um, for your graveyard. Whisper Agent is a three drop. And I like that it has the combination mana where you can choose either the, the swamp or the island when you cast it. Uh, depending on what kind of mana you have, I mean, really. When Whisper, it has Flash as well, it's pretty cool, it's a human, common. When Whisper Agent enters the battlefield, surveil for one. Again, let's look at the top card of your library, you may put it into your graveyard. Another human soldier, Sunhome Stalwart. It's a two, it's a deuce drop soldier, first strike with Mentor. When, <laughs> I don't know why Mentos keeps popping in my mind. Mentos. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I don't know. Whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature with less power. It's a deuce, deuce. It's really going to help out night decks as well, but also just humans in general because there's a lot of lesser powered cards out there. Uh, this will at least help it so it's not easily removed because we all know removal is pretty ridiculous right now. It's standard. I can't wait to see what new removal comes out of Guilds of Ravnica. I think it's going to be pretty exciting to, to, to see. Uh, bottom left here, we have Fresh Faced Recruit. I'm, I'm really liking this artwork. Uh, I, I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions too, because I was a little upset with some of the artwork from more recent, uh, like Battle Bond. I was not happy with that artwork at all. But this artwork, I'm glad they didn't veer too, off, too far off the path. Uh, fresh faced recruit is something that looks pretty slick. It, I, I, even bounty agent, uh, the informant, the the whisper agent. Um, so far, all these cards, the artwork's nice on them. That's something very key that I wanted to point out, and I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, fresh faced recruit. As long as it's your turn, fresh faced recruit has for a strike it's two one again with the combination. Man, that's pretty neat. Chromatic lantern. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys uh, sold some of your Chromatic Lanterns. If not, they are taking a hit. I know I got rid of mine. Lands you control have. Tap, add one mana of any color. Tap, add one mana of any color. It's it's just a great card. Um, lantern, it needed a reprint, I think. It was only really at like 10, 11 bucks. It, maybe it really didn't need a reprint, but it got one anyway. And I, I, I was smelling it. I was smelling it out, and there it is. Sumala Woodshaper. Uh, we have the deuce with a green and a plains elf druid when Sumala Woodshaper enters the battlefield. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them uh, and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Again, this is just, uh, this is not the best card in the world, obviously. Uh, but the fact that we can go ahead and get a creature or enchantment card is not bad. Um, oh, it's only the top four, though. If only we can increase that. You have to run a lot of enchantments uh, for this thing really to come off well, um, or, or, or creatures, you know, that that are going to have a big effect on you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to do. I, I don't know. How this is. It's not going to see much play. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's a four drop, though, guys. Come on. Uh, Hypo the sizzle. Hypo the Sizzle. What is going on with you, Hypo? What is going on with you? Draw two cards, then you may discard a non-land card. When you do, hip, uh, Hypo the Sizzle. 
I'm sure it's hypothesizal, okay, but we're saying it hypo the sizzle. Deals four damage to target creature. Okay, so there's a little bit of removal there. Goblin Electromancer. It's a deuce drop. Instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast, so that card's been reprinted again. Assassin's Trophy. It's a two drop. Destroy target permanent and opponent controls. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, and shuffle their library. Destroy target permanent. That's, I don't know, man. That's some new crazy removal. That destroys any permanent, and uh, all they got out of it is putting a land into play. What are your thoughts on that? That is an insane removal. Assassin's Trophy. Um, that's like uh, Path to Exile, but not just for creatures. That's like Path to Exile, but it's a two-drop, uh, black and uh, green, uh, and you can destroy any permanent. I mean, that's that's different. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking that. That seems like a really strong removal. Uh, but, of course, you've got to be running the accor uh, corresponding uh, colors, black and green. Definite thoughts on that. I want to hear about it. Dream Eater, six drop. This thing sounds ferocious. Nightmare Sphinx, uh-oh. Flash and Flying. When Dream Eater enters the battlefield, surveil four. When you do, you may return target now land permanent opponent controls to its owner's hand, four, three. Yeah, flash and flying. Dead Surveil 4 is pretty steep. I just, again, these Sphinxes, the casting cost is rather high. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think it's going to have a huge impact. Uh, again, if they would have made it a 5 drop, maybe. But who knows? Maybe the Surveil thing is just going to be ridiculous. And honestly, it kind of is. We can look at the top four cards, really. Uh, I think it's just a little kind of late in the game. Uh, I, mean, I mean, this is no champion of wits here, you know. But uh, I don't know. I got to hear your guys' thoughts on that one. Next up, we got Find and Finality. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. I wish it would say just any, like just return up to two target cards. But I guess that would have to be different colors. Okay. And then on the other side, we have you may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control, then all creatures. Get minus four, minus four until the turn. Wow. I mean, steep casting costs yet again. But we are in standard. So, I mean, this is not going to see modern play, I doubt. But standard play. Yeah, I mean, you're going to put a couple plus one, plus one counters. Hopefully making something live. Maybe you can make it to a five, five at that point or something. Or it's really big. But everything gets minus four, minus four. Cool removal card. We'll see how it plays out. Oh, niv Mizzet got a new card. I'm excited. What does it do? We'll find out in a sec. Response and Resurgence. Response deals 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Okay. Creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance until end of turn. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Whoa. All right. Thoughts on that card. Boros getting some light here. That seems like a card that can definitely aid a Boros deck. I, I think it's a solid card. Printed at rare, yeah, it might not see over a buck to two bucks, but it's a solid inclusion, definitely in any deck that's running the Boros. Um, Niv, Mizzet, Parun, three islands, three mountains, no exceptions to that casting. Beautiful, the spell can't be countered, I'm already liking that. It's a 5-5, five, five, not bad. It's a flyer, of course. Whenever you draw, it's a legendary creature dragon wizard. Whenever you draw a card, Niv Mizzet Paron, Paron deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. All right, got to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. It, it, it's a 5-5 five, five, uh, with, with a, a whole lot of stuff going on here going to be able to draw cards and whenever a player that's anyone that casts an instant or sorcery spell you to draw a card i mean maybe even commander decks i don't know where this thing's going to fit in uh well let me hear you guys' uh feelings give me your feelies i want to hear them guys and uh, i put together a nasty turn two deck yesterday my boy Kaysen did and i want to hear you guys' thoughts on that one it's a budget deck that wins turn two for 40 bucks what more do you want all right make sure you check that out it is in modern and as always guys pla